Hello everybody, Vaping Vinny back again and today I have a hardware review for you, I'm just looking for the box. It's the Redemption RDA from Armageddon MFG. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much first off to Ariel, Mr Armageddon himself who I met at Vape Expo UK on the Cloud Island stand for very kindly giving me this lovely RDA to review for the purpose of this review that will not affect my views on this RDA in the slightest though but thank you very much sir it's a pleasure to meet you if you ever get a chance folks lovely guy absolutely lovely guy anyway there it is on the SQ blue splatter Armageddon Redemption RDA let's have a vape It chucks down well. And the flavour is also spot on. Anyway, without further ado, I'll get this stripped on the deck. We'll have a closer look. I'll bang a building quickly, hopefully. And then come back with the final thoughts after that bit. Thank you. There we go. Okay, folks. Here's the redemption up close on the deck on my Mods ST build deck. A quick scour around the blue splatter. Finish up this redemption from Arm again. So you right around lovely lettering as you'd expect from Armageddon. And the school logo. There we are. And let's pop that off. And here's the deck. Well first of all the I'll pop that out. And pop that out if I can. There we are. I'll just grab my zip off. Aluminium sleeve, lovely blue splatter finish. Uh, little notches, you see them just in there? It's a little locking system which allows you to open the airflow. Now, we we're talking about the airflow. One thing I was quite worried about with this, but there it is. Obviously, it's very the, the airflow is exactly the same as the Apocalypse, but you have a one option for a single coil build as well on there. Um, I was a little bit worried about this being so close to coils and obviously heat and everything like that, but I've built really, really low builds in this as well. And the Delrins we stood it, and obviously, you see, there's no damage, it's just this coloration from juice I've used in there. Um, yeah, so it's not that much of a when I say low, I've gone 0 0.07 low on it, and there's no damage to it, it's not melted, it's not got stuck or anything like that. So, it is fit for purpose and works perfectly well, which was a little worry for me though. Um, again, the sleeves aluminium, lovely finish. Engraving as always with Armageddon. Uh, pop that back in there, and that's the full finished look. A nice big drip tip. Um, you also get a spare drip tip, which is slightly lower profile than the one I'm using that came on it. And the little baggy of spurs you get in the box. Now we're getting some spear o rings, a uh, clamp, and some of the massive post screws. You get two spares of them as well. But no squonk pin. I'll address that when we come up top. Let's get the building. Now, fans of Armageddon and the Apocalypse series will notice it's very very similar except the clamps are inverted so you unscrew the screw and the clamps drop down which unlike the Apocalypse makes it rather easier to fit your coils now these coils are not brand new they're not some posh custom made coils they're my usual Fuse Claptons that I like to use. I've had a bit of use. I've been road testing the RDA since Expo. 
pretty much using it daily if I'm honest. Lost that now there. Lovely, lovely big post screws in this area. Nice and sturdy stuff. There's a tight on that. You see the clamp rising? It's a superb design idea just to turn the clamps upside down makes it so so much easier to build it and there we go that's the coils installed it's literally that easy yes I pre-cut the legs because I've been using these coils in this RDA but it is literally that easy to build in now they are quite high the coils I'll mention that in the pros and cons section later Let's pop that onto the mod I'm using for this review, and that's uh, an SQ, my signature tips. Now I did say that there's no squonk pin within this package, but if like me you're already a fan of Armageddon and you have an Apocalypse Gen 2, you will find the squonk pin fit straight over. It's a perfect match. Uh, bolts in lovely. Nice and even. Uh, the juice I'm using for this review is some Cloud Island Blue Slush. It's just I'm flavour tasting it for a, a review. Just gonna dampen down them coils a tad. A wee bit of this. There we are. Your speeds up the process. Uh, my cotton I'm using today is actually a different cotton. I'm not showing you guys yet. I don't think it's from Raffle Wires. Um, I have got a big cotton review coming up for absorption rates soon-ish. Maybe I'm quite bogged down with reviews at the moment we will get there folks we will get there right let's bang a wick in these lovely coils now everyone likes to wick differently I'm quite a snug wicker but not overly snug we'll leave that there with scissors Just knock the camera. One side whipped. I'll fluff them out in a little second. That's the problem with damping down your coils to speed up the process. It does make wicking a little bit trickier but it speeds up the whole process there we go snip that remove that and there we go, that's the coils whipped up lovely I'll just fluff them out a wee bit let's grab my pointy tweezers Just literally fanning them out, I'm not thinning the cotton out on this. Lovely jubbly, and there we go. My trusty faithful battered tweezers. Tuck the cotton in. Oh, 
side. There we go. And it's ready to vape. As easy as that. Right, I'll come back up top and give him my final thoughts on the pros and cons. And we're back with a Redemption RDA up top, all built, juiced and ready to go. What to say? Well, it's a 24mm RDA, the uh, Redemption. The main body is made out of aluminium. Your plastic looking airflow is Delrin. Again, like I said on the close up, I've had no issues whatsoever with coils been very close to it and any melting issues whatsoever which personally I was quite worried about but no issues uh, juice wells cracking five millimeter deep roughly juice it holds when you're squonking it's great RDA for squonking in my opinion um, it's kind of the RDA itself is kind of a mishmash between the Rapture which was bought out with the upside down clamps and the APOC with the airflow but my god it works well, it works damn well, it's a cracking, cracking, flavour chasing RDA and the clouds ain't bad either, ain't too shabby at all some of the extra features I like, the locking cap it's got little notches that I showed you on the close up, you fit it in and it's locked you can control your airflow opening from dual coil to single coil which is another great feature of this, you can build silver, silver single coils builds in it um, it's yeah it's a 55 pound RDA currently uh, on the Cloud Island website for me it's worth 55 pounds I, I, I own an Apocalypse Gem 2 which I went and bought a long while ago and this is just an improvement on it. The, with the build deck being how it is, and been so much easier to build with the clamps dropping down. With the apocalypse, sometimes it was easier to build upside down and things like that. But they've solved that by crop, sort of mangling the two together to produce an absolutely cracking RDA. Uh, my issue, squawk pin don't come with it. You have to buy that separately, unless you're like me and you have an Apocalypse Gem 2 with a squonk pin because it swaps straight over and fits straight in so I didn't have to go out and buy a squonk pin because I already had one for the Apocalypse um, what else have I got to say I've got one con out of all of it for me personally I'd have liked to see the airflow slightly lower because you have to build them coils so high up to get the airflow to hit the coils just on the low side to enhance the flavour but I suppose the downside to that is if you lowered the airflow you'd have to lower the coils from your mouth which could in fact reduce the flavour so yeah maybe that's not so much of a con after all my only other issue is put a squamping in it fellas other than that I've not stopped using pretty much this RDA on this setup for the last two weeks. It is stunning. It's a cracking, cracking RDA. Yeah, it's £55, but you're not going to need another RDA. It's got the flavour production, it's got the vapour production. It's a superb, outstanding all round RDA. It really, really is. I cannot, yeah, I can't. Other than the two cons with the squamp pin and the airflow. For me but again the counter argument for the airflow would be the coils further away from the taste factory of your mouth well there we go folks if you're after an RDA and you're in the mid market range at 55 pounds I highly highly recommend it it's something I will be using for a long while on this setup I just it, it's great on the SQ I was using the drop on the SQ now I use a redemption quite simple um, yeah superb RDA with the new clamps it's so easy to build on as I've just shown you can't fault it in the slightest it's lovely absolutely lovely RDA 
cracking job out Armageddon and MFG. Superb job, really is. And that's that, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please drop a like and subscribe and any comments you'd like to share. And I'll be back again soon with yet more views. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now, my lovelies. Goodbye.